no, we just wanted or more like demanded a meeting. This satellite intercepted a signal that originated from Lagrange Point, too. Who intercepted this signal? My unit did. The only satellite operating in LG-2 is a European space agency space observatory called Gaia, and it's not configured to communicate with Milstar. Then what was it? Another satellite. I've assembled a team of scientists and engineers in various agencies to detect and track this alien presence. Operation Troy. Are you afraid of General? It's not about being afraid. It's about knowing who they are and what they want. From the world of science fiction, I think our world would be substantially better off if in fact we not only confirmed, but were able to speak with some sort of extra solar power. I mean, let's be just brutally honest. We've got a lot of issues going on right now and it makes no difference what side of the aisle one is on, what their beliefs are, whatever. I think we need to have a common thing to focus on to say, we have been contacted. They are trying to communicate with us because I think it would give us a, 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 a purpose, a, an absolute reason to, to push forward. You can have all my stars because that is exactly where they're from. Isaac Mass invited us to screen first signal here for our world premiere this coming Friday, March 26th. But we also did some filming in Orange at the airport where a spaceship will be arriving before the end of the film. I wish we could bring the spaceship with us, but unfortunately we can't. It's back at its home world. I hope for a world at some point down the road where we can confirm that there are or is an alien presence somewhere in the universe that wants to communicate with us. And, and First Signal might give you a taste of that. Even David Humphreys, a former aide to George Washington, visited Gloucester to interview witnesses who informed him that the serpent's features were much like the head of a turtle and larger than any head on any dog with a 12-inch spear bulging from its skull. It was kind of like the law and order of the Boston area for the longest time. If you were an actor, and it makes no difference what your rank was, you did an episode of The Folklorist at one point. Not enough people know about community media and community television. I think it's a great way to hone your skills as a filmmaker, as talent, and to really get a feel for are you going to like the entertainment industry or not? Because the commitment is very easy to get into. It's not like you've got to, say, drive all the way into Boston or you have to go to the big cities and all that. You can really get a flavor for how cameras work, how sound works, how you can maybe take your short film and turn it into something. There's only one thing left to do. I could go to jail for this. By authorization of the President of the United States, initiate Operation Troy. The writing is perhaps the most important part of any film, particularly when it comes, the screenplay is the foundation of the film. If you don't have a good screenplay, you're not gonna have a good film. You can spend a thousand dollars, you can spend a hundred million, but if you don't have a good screenplay, your film is just gonna fall apart. So I love writing. I, I have a, several projects that are in the development stage, um, all with completed screenplays, and hopefully next year, maybe we'll be filming one in this area. I honestly don't believe we're the only ones here, do you?